Hi y'all. <clears throat> Welcome to Richard in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make good old homemade lemonade. Weather is getting hot and there's nothing better than a cold glass of lemonade. But I got a little twist to kind of snazz it up a little bit. So let's get started doing this. I think I uh, end up using about 8 to 10 lemons. I got one of these things just as a lemon squeezer. And uh, what I do to all my lemons, I just roll them to make that juice come out of there a little bit easier. And uh, you just take it on here and squeeze that juice down. This little container here catches the pulp and the seeds so you don't have to go digging around to get those seeds and uh, pulp out of there. Now a little pulp is probably real good, but we're going to get this squeezed up. But this container, oh, there's about a cup and a half of juice. It'll render that much. And then uh, it's real simple to do. Okay, I've got most of these lemons already done. I usually try to save, you know, several slices that I've taken the seeds out of to uh, garnish on the top of the glass after we get this lemonade made. And I think we're pretty much there. Let me check this so we don't run over. And uh, we'll get our simple sugar started. And basically what that is, is I'm just going to dissolve that sugar in one cup of water on the stove to help that sugar melt. So you, I do it that way so I don't have to, I don't have to stand over once we get our lemonade made and stir and stir and stir because the sugar just seems to fall down to the bottom. And that's no fun. So, let's uh, fire this thing up and get this sugar made. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two cups of sugar to my saucepan. And one cup cold water. And I'm going to stir this until this sugar dissolves. How you all like my contraption I bought today? I figure I buy this because y'all probably get tired of me turning my back on you to put things on the stove over here. So I figure I just buy this little thing here. It seems to be working pretty good. It's going to take several minutes for this sugar to dissolve. And uh, I've got a neat little trick I'm going to show you to do with your ice cubes. We've got our sugar, our simple sugar dissolved over this in the saucepan here and I've got about seven cups of cold water in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I don't know why my grandmother used to do this but she added some ice cubes to her water before she added this. Now we're going to take our two cups, almost two cups of lemon juice Fresh squeezed lemon juice, and we're going to put that in the mix. And then we're going to take our simple sugar, and we're going to pour this in there. Sugar dissolved nicely, and we'll give that a stir. And let that. We put it in the fridge, and we'll let it chill. And we'll serve it up with these <laughs> special pretty ice cubes that I'm going to show you how to make in just a second. Let me show you what I do with these ice cubes. Let me give myself a little clean up here. We don't want the food police coming after us. Actually, if you do fresh lemonade, this is a little tip of the day. It's free. not going to cost you nothing. If you use a wooden cutting, cutting board, you always should clean it regularly because bacteria can get in the wood fibers and coarse salt will help you do that but lemon juice it is very acidic it will help to get rid of all that bacteria now to the ice trays what I got here is simple old ice tray and we're going to fill this up with about two cups of water These are going to be the ice cubes that we use in our lemonade. Now, what are we going to do here? I got me some fresh mint. And it's always a good idea to garnish the top of your lemonade with some mint. 
but I take it a step further just to make it pretty. <clears throat> I've said this before. Y'all know I'm about pretty. So, what I do is I just kind of cut these mint leaves up, throw away the stems, like this. My dog's outside and he's he's yelping, wanting to come in. See how many I'm gonna need. I'm gonna, oops, didn't get enough water in that one. Okay, I'm just gonna drop a mint leaf. It's too much water. In each one of these little holes for ice. And I'll show you what that looks like after they freeze. But this is real cool. Because once that freezes, you've got a little color in your ice cubes. Looks real cool in the glass. It'll impress your friends. Make you feel like you're special or something like that. <laughs> How about that? Look at that. Check that out. Now we're going to put this in the freezer and let that freeze. And when that comes out, when that freezes, I'll show you what that looks like. Through the miracle of time on our lemonade, we've given a chance to for our ice cubes to to get made. Look at that. What I did is I put that mint in there, and it's going to really give our uh, lemonade a real good taste. See there, it's got a mint inside that uh, that ice cube. When people drink my lemonade, they're going, "What is that?" I mean, it's this mint is so subtle. And it, it, it marries so good with this lemonade. So let's uh, dump our ice cubes out here. And <coughs> Excuse me. And get uh, this in our ice. And we'll make us a glass of lemonade. Now this is a different picture, as you can see, that I put this lemonade in. While I'm letting this ice get ready, I woke up the next morning because I let my lemonade stay in the fridge chill all night long. Well, guess what? Three quarters of it was gone. The container I had just bought at Walmart, evidently it was defective. So, let's put our mint infused ice in our glass and pour us a glass of lemonade. And look at that. <laughs> Top it with a lemon. How about that? Now, ain't that pretty? See all those green colors in there? Let's give it a test. <sighs> Great on a hot day or just when you feel like making lemonade. Give this a try, guys. See y'all later. Don't forget to be nice to everybody. Bye-bye.